Hello everyone, welcome into Fatty's Feast where we make the best food you'll ever eat without leaving your backyard. My name is Josh. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to smoke up the most delicious, buttery, crispy drumsticks you'll ever eat. Let's get started. So it's currently 12.30 in the afternoon and I'm drinking coffee. So if that can tell you how my night went, then use your own assumptions, but it was a good night. Mm. Delicious, I love coffee. My voice is a little raspy, so forgive me. But today we're making drumsticks. It is Super Bowl Sunday. I know this video is coming out a week later, that's okay. But we're out of the pit. We're gonna smoke these drumsticks up very quickly. This recipe actually comes from Dan. He gave me it, he said, you have to make wings this way. It's the best thing I've ever done. So I believe him, I trust him. I mean, he's the one that lent me this pit. So why not give it a try? And also per his instructions, we actually cook at a higher temperature in this recipe. So it literally should take 90 minutes or so. But I got two packages of drumsticks here, about five pounds each. A dollar a pound, can you believe that? I love that. Let's season them up quickly and get them on the smoker. So I'm just gonna take them out of the package one by one here. These are some pretty big boys. Just gonna pull the skin back a little bit like so. We're gonna be very simple with these today. We're just doing a mix of salt and pepper. So we'll throw the salt on, flip them over, and we'll throw the pepper on real quick. Excuse my table, it's very uh, dirty. And then all I'll do is throw them on one by one, just like so. I'm just gonna place them in sort of this offset fashion, just to save a little bit of space. And voila, look at that. And then one, two, three, four. Sticks of butter in this beautiful, whatever you call this thing. And I'm gonna place this right back here, right in front of our wings. Let me get my probe situated here. There we go. And we'll shut her down. Now, for this recipe, we want a roaring fire. So we want about 300 to 350. Break my coals down here. I had a good fire going earlier, but you know, filming. So let's do it up. Now that is looking fire. <laughs> See what I did there? All right, let's shut her down. So the plan today, we're not cooking these low and slow, like I said, there's not much fat to render on drumsticks. So basically what we're doing, we're just trying to get them to an internal temperature of 165 degrees, actually more like 160, 155, because there is a rest period. So what my plan is, we're gonna cook these a little fast and a little hot. So like I said, 275, 300, 350, somewhere in that range, we're not really concerned about the cooking temperature, it's just gonna be hot. And yeah, we're gonna get some smoky flavor, but we're not really that concerned about smoky flavor with this particular recipe. What I'm mainly concerned about is a mild smoky flavor plus a crispy skin. And the butter that I threw in that pan is going to make the magic happen. So I'm gonna let that butter melt down for about 15 minutes until it becomes a nice golden brown, and then we'll come back and add another secret ingredient. Okay, let's take a look. So we see our butter here is nice and melted. So now I got some delicious honey. I'm just gonna throw some of this in here. We're gonna make a nice buttery, nutty honey sauce. It's gonna be delicious. This stuff is very thick. Just <laughs> waiting for it to get in there. Let's give it a nice stir. I think I wanna add a little bit more. That's probably about good. I did about a quarter of the bottle. Just giving this a nice stir around. We're looking for it to be a nice brown consistency. It's getting there. And now what I'll do is I'll put this closer to the fire to render it down. And look at these wings so far. It's been about 45 minutes to an hour. They're looking nice and crispy. So I have a feeling these ones in the back are near done, probably. We're getting there. So we gotta let this butter melt down a little bit. I mean, these are nice and juicy in the back. So what I wanna do is I wanna rotate some of these in the back to the front. So if I can take these, put them up here. I'll take these bad boys and put them in the rear here. Put these like so. Give them a little room to breathe up here. There we go, beautiful. I just wanna take an internal temp of these two. Yeah, these are only 137. So the ones in back are really, actually a little more than that, 140-ish. So the ones in back were definitely cooking faster. So we'll shut her down. 
And then for our sauces, I have two of them. I have Sweet Baby Ray's, both of them, Sweet and Spicy and Hickory Brown Sugar. So we're gonna give people a little bit of choice when it comes to their drumsticks today. Two pans, and we're just gonna dump these bad boys in. I don't, I'm not gonna remember which one is which, I already know that for a fact, but it is what it is. Oh yeah, it's so hot. That's about good. And then we'll throw in our apple cider vinegar. I don't know how much, I'm doing like, probably like a third ratio to the barbecue sauce. We'll just give it a nice stir up just to make sure it's good. And then we'll throw these puppies on right about here and let that warm up. I'll bring you back in about 15 minutes. We'll see how that butter's doing. We'll throw it on our wings. Mom's here. Hi, Mom. Did you come for wings? <laughs> yeah, or drumsticks, I should say. All right, let's take a look at our nutter butter here. Got a nice foamy brown consistency. It smells nutty. That's exactly what we're looking for. Give it a nice stir up. Look at that. That looks delicious. So all I'm gonna do with these is just coat these in this butter, like so. I could use a mop, but I'm lazy. And this is just a way easier way to do it. So we can just coat them around like that. Let them dry off here a little bit. And what this is gonna do is crisp up this skin very nicely and add a nice honey butter flavor to it. And notice I have my nice gloves here with the heat covering that Kurt graciously got me. And I'm just throwing them back on like so. Last one, there we go. Now I still got this much left, so as we go on, we'll just put some more on here every 20 minutes or so. And I do just wanna take an internal temp real quick. Oh yeah, yeah, we're getting there. We're just gonna crisp these bad boys up real quick. We'll shut her down. Ooh, fire's a little low. Let's bump it up. We're gonna get these temps up to about 350 or so. We're really gonna crisp up that skin with that honey butter. There we go. Looking good. So like I said, every 15 or 20 minutes, I'm gonna recoat those wings using the rest of that honey butter with my brush, and then we'll sauce them. And notice I did take the sauce off the uh, top here because it was taking a little longer than I thought and I didn't want the sauce to burn. So we'll throw that back on in about 10 minutes or so. And after about a half an hour, ooh, look at these bad boys. It's been actually about 45 minutes, but look at that crispy skin, that color. Let's sauce these things. So I got my two trays here, or actually this is one tray, but I have two trays. We're just gonna sauce these bad boys. This is literally the easiest way to sauce your chicken. The honey and butter are very sticky. These look delicious. Looks like I used too much barbecue sauce. It's okay, they'll just bathe in that. Yeah, I got quite a bit left, oops, oh well. And then this one, wow, look at the pullback on this one, I love that. And last but not least. Perfect. And if that doesn't look absolutely freaking delicious, I don't know what does. Oh my God, look at those bad boys, I love this. Let's shut her down and we'll let them sit on there for about another 15 or so minutes before we do our taste test. Okay, so all in all, this took about two and a half hours. Obviously, it would take less time if you weren't filming a video. Always happens, but very quick cook, right on schedule like I thought, like always. Um, this one is the hickory, hickory brown sugar, and then this one is the spicy. So we're gonna give both of them a nice try. Um, I want to do a small one because I don't want to fill up. So, mm, wow, juicy. Skin's not as crispy as I'd like, but I'm not upset about that. The flavor of the brown sugar is so good. I'm sorry, not the brown sugar, the honey. The honey and butter, god damn. I feel like that kept that moist too. That's good, all right. And then the spicy or spicy sweet, whatever you want to call it. Mmm. These are so moist. I love that word. So freaking good. Oh my God. Dan, you're a genius. I love you, man. 
there's literally, look at that. I don't know if you can see that. There's literally shit dripping off this chicken because it's so moist. I always wonder what happens like when people go by my house and they see me filming. Like, look at this dude just eating chicken wings in his driveway with a camera. It's pretty neat. I also love when my neighbors walk by and just see me standing here with a camera talking to myself. That's really cool too. This is, this is freaking delicious. I don't know what else to say. God damn. Now I know for a fact I have the sauces correct. I didn't mix them up. I labeled the containers, but honestly not much of a difference with the smoke flavor and the salt and the pepper and the butter and the honey. I, I don't taste a huge difference between the spicy sweet and the hickory brown sugar. It tastes pretty much the same. Maybe a little bit sweeter with the hickory brown sugar, but the spicy sweet's really good. It's actually one of my favorite sauces that they make. But anyway, make this recipe. You're going to love it. It's a quick cook. The chicken's moist as hell. My fingers are covered in crap. I have to wrap these up and go to the Super Bowl party, and that's going to be a freaking blast, believe me. So thank you once again for checking out this episode of Fatty's Feast. If you like what you saw, please smash that like button. Get this content out to more people. I want to share my love of barbecue with everyone, so the more you like and comment, and why is that so loud? Jesus Christ. But the more you like and comment, the more people my content will reach, and I'm extremely appreciative of that. Over here, I'm going to put a video specifically designed for you. You're going to love it, so check that out. And then over here, I'm going to put my smoker chicken playlist, hours of entertainment, just for you. And right in the middle, if you love this average face so much, you can subscribe. And until next time, stay safe, stay happy, stay healthy, and stay hungry.